Hey guys, I'm GS Fear, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to lessen the gap between Twitch Studio and the other broadcasting software such as OBS, Streamlabs OBS, and OBS Live by adding browser sources, which is going to enable you to add custom alerts and custom widgets from Stream Elements and just all of the other softwares that use widgets. So I do have a massive amount of widgets on the channel. So if you are interested in that, please consider hitting that subscribe button and let's go ahead and start the video. Okay guys, what we're gonna do first is we're going to go to streamelements.com and we're gonna link our Twitch if you have not done so, so far. Now it is completely legit, it's safe. Don't worry about it. A lot of people use this. So then we're gonna go into my dashboard and if you have your own custom alerts and just widgets and overlays all downloaded already you can just go into your folder like i think nerd or die and visuals by impulse give you downloadable files but i'm just going to show you what they have on their website so you get to this page right here themes gallery i'm going to go over to alerts i'm not going to show you the widgets just because i have videos upon videos upon videos already made for you know for twitch and obs studio which most of them i'm not going to guarantee that all of them will work but most of them should work with twitch studio so once we get to alerts we're going to hit create on whatever one you want to i'm going to do the knockout you know the little fall guys one create new overlay you're going to name it whatever you want to name it and once you get done with that you're going to come over to my overlays then we're going to come all the way down here until we get to them we're going to hit edit it's going to bring you to this page right here the overlay editor you're going to click on the alert box one the settings now there's not too much customization personally with this fall guys one but the other ones you can customize quite a bit more now you can come over here you can change the sound you can make the sound louder if you want to i'm going to turn this all the way down just so i can show y'all without the sound going off double because it will go off double when you emulate it just to make sure it works. So once you have all that set up, we're going to go to save, copy the overlay URL. And then after that, we're going to go into Twitch Studio. It's going to greet you with this page. Whatever your overlays are is what it is. So then we go to main. You're going to add a layer, whatever layer you need to add browser source. There we go. And once it comes to that, you are going to rename it, you know, custom alerts, whatever it is. You don't have to rename it at all. So then we're going to come to the right side of the screen and plug in that stream elements overlay URL that we just copied a minute ago. And then we're just going to hit refresh. And the problem I had with this custom alert or this personal alert was the fact that I will, I'll show you real quick just so y'all can see. The problem I had was the fact that it wasn't showing on the screen. So it's like all the way there. And what I had to do to fix this was drag the URL or the overlay to be kind of big. Like it's a little bit bigger than my taste, but I am going to suggest using kind of smaller alerts with Twitch Studio. Now, if you do move over to OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS, then I would kind of suggest using like the bigger alerts if you want them but twitch studio just doesn't do as good with the bigger alerts so we'll, there we go as you see as you see it's all fixed it works now you are all good the same method will work for widgets now i can't guarantee every single widget that i do have in the playlist above is going to work for you but quite a bit of them are going to hey guys thank you so much for watching the video let me know in the comments if this video did help you also let me know in the comments if you want any more tutorials on the twitch studio stuff i personally still use the obs studio but i know a lot of people that are starting to use twitch studio just because it's extremely extremely easy so if you are not subscribed to the channel and you think that this channel could help you out please consider hitting that subscribe button the notification ding ding and i will catch you guys in the next video which i'm going to show you guys the playlist for the widgets just to help y'all out so thank y'all again and peace